Hi everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirk with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple here in Austell, Georgia near Metro Atlanta and today I wanted to show you something that I discovered within the last two or three weeks here in my Kathy's Bookkeeping Test file that I'm working with. Now as you can see, I'm in the Banking tab and I actually have three accounts connected, a Fidelity Rewards Visa, an LGE Checking, and an LGE Savings. And this is a credit card, this is the checking account, and as you probably figured out that I pay down the credit card using the LGE checking. So with that in mind, let's go down here and look. And as you can see on 12-6-2021, there's something new that appears in the category or match column, and it's showing paired to another transaction. So if you open that up you'll see that it's suggesting that the credit card payment is from LGE checking you can verify that by hovering over that question mark and that's the bank account that we use to make that payment which is correct now the only thing I would need to do here would be to add the vendor which would be let's make sure yeah so add who we paid that would be the fidelity card all right so and, and I don't know if I'll need to reclassify that when I come back, but I wanted to show you this from the other side. So I'm not going to add that as yet, but I'm going to leave that right there. Now this may go away when I come back, but let's say I'll go to the LGE checking. And on that side, you'll see a companion transaction. So this is basically recording the Fidelity Rewards Visa being paid by this account. So, okay, it looks like we're, this is the credit card, and then the vendor is to add who we paid. So, it looks like that it, it's linked going from one account to another, because before you would have to actually accept the credit card payment for it to match on the other end. So, this is relatively new. So, with that said, I'm, and I'm not going to do it from here. I'm actually going to go back and switch over to the Fidelity Rewards and see whether or not yeah I had a feeling that was going to go away but that's not a problem we're going to go ahead and go back to this and basically we're going to add that vendor again Fidelity Visa and I have not used this as yet but what I'm hoping that this will do or thinking that this will do is once I add this transaction to the register it will automatically add it on the other end so we're going to record it as a credit card payment and I'm going to go ahead and click add here Okay, so that goes away. We go back up here and look at the categorize, and as you can see that that records somewhere in here. Here, there we go. I'll go back up to the top, and you can see now that that payment is showing as added in this register. Now, if we go to LGE checking, let's make sure and see, and it looks like that that's been matched to this as categorized because I forgot to go back into full review so it's gone out of here as you can see it's no longer in here so when we go back to categorize you can see that that actually put that in the register if we go to the actual bank registry you should be able to see that transaction here and there it is and let's look at it on the side of the banking we'll go back to the Fidelity Rewards and look at the register there and yeah, there we go. It's in there. So that is pretty cool because before the process would be that you would have to actually add it from one of the accounts and then it would find the match. But in this case, it actually, with the AI technology, it actually went ahead and detected that those were paired transactions. So that's going to simplify a lot of the entries for credit card payments and things like that. So I'm glad that they have that as part of our processes now I don't know if everybody has this feature as of yet but in the event that you don't have it it'll probably appear at some point so anyway I hope this helps you today y'all have a wonderful day everyone take care and we will see you soon thank you for watching I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and share it with others my goal is to publish at least one new video per week on QuickBooks desktop or online topics, the occasional motivational video, and a few surprises thrown in here and there. I would love to talk to you about how to help you optimize your knowledge and usage of QuickBooks desktop or online. My Calendly link is in the slide.
please use that to reach out to me to schedule a free 45 minute initial consult. I would love to talk to you about your QuickBooks desktop or online training needs. Again, have a wonderful day and until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.